What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 50 and today I am going to show you on how to create a custom map inside Lyra. So, let's get started. One thing that I want to say is that we are so near of reaching 1k subscribers, so if you want to help me out, please subscribe right now. And as you have requested, we're gonna make more Lyra tutorials on the upcoming videos. So, now yes, let's get started. Alright, so once you open your Lyra starter kit uh, template, we have to make one thing and is that we have to go into our content browser just uh, go ahead and go into settings on here and make sure they have show engine content and show plugin content checked because if not uh, there are certain things that will not be uh, compatible with your map okay so once you have enabled that two things we're gonna go down in here and just go scroll down until you see uh, plugins okay so just go ahead and open this and in plugins you're gonna see one thing that is shooter maps content okay and then i'm gonna click in here and go into maps basically in here you're gonna create your own map so let's go ahead and create a new map so go up here into file and you say new level in my case i'm just gonna select open world just to show you so let's go ahead and create all right so once you have uh created your level go ahead and just Control s and we'll go into the folder that I uh, set. So I just go into here, shooter maps, uh, content and maps. Uh, name it how you want and just save it. So why are we putting it in this folder? Well, this is because we're gonna be using, um, you know, blueprints that are in the plugins uh, folder, okay, section. Like for example, um, game modes, uh, weapon spawners etc you're gonna see in a second and if we basically go ahead and create a normal map in the content uh, folder there's gonna be things that will not be exactly compatible and we will have errors all right so now that we have our map created what we're going to do is go into the world settings and you will see that we have the default gameplay experience in a game mode override game mode override we are not going to touch uh, to touch this okay we are only going to touch the uh, default gameplay experience which is uh, created using Lyra okay so we're gonna go ahead and select a template so we have different game modes that we can choose in my case I'm just gonna select the B shooter game elimination and we are gonna need to uh, create two more things in our world to be able to play this game uh, so we what we have to do is first of all go in here go all classes say player and you can select a Lyra player spawn uh, star. In my case, I'm just gonna put one of them and it will out to create uh, new spawns. But you can go ahead and create as many as you need for both teams. And then what we're going to do is just click here, go into volumes, and add a nav mesh bounce volume. Basically, this will allow our AI uh, to basically move around our map. So just go ahead and make it uh, real big as long as you need to fit your, you know, map. Uh, if we hit P, we can go ahead and see a bit how uh, the nav mesh is being applied. So just go ahead and play around. Now, if I go ahead and hit play, you will see that all our players have been spawned in the same area. Now we'll go ahead and change this in a second. But uh, you will see that we actually have now uh, Lyra set up in our map. Let's go ahead and just uh, duplicate this. So just make it two. And then you select this two and move them in front of here. Rotate them 90 degrees and press play. You will see that now our spawning is actually being applied correctly. Now we can add custom things. For example, let's go in the plugin section and just search for spawner. And we will see this weapon spawner. So for example, just drag it in here into the middle. In here, we will just, you know, make it higher. And basically, if we had created this uh, map in the content uh, folder, this would give an error and we couldn't access uh, certain details uh, from it. It is, it's a bit confusing but you know just trust me okay so uh basically let's create uh you know select our weapon so in the weapon pickup we can go ahead and choose one from here in my case i'm just gonna go ahead and select the rifle 
Uh, and then just go ahead and hit play. And you'll see that now. I have a rifle. So yeah, you can go ahead and play around as you want. And now you can just start, you know, making your map. I mean, if you, you know, so that your custom assets and make it as you want. But in my case, I'm just, you know, just to show you, I'm just gonna create some walls here. So to control over it and it, it, it's just really fun. So, you know, if you have any assets or whatever, you can start placing them into this map and you will have uh, total control over your things. Uh, you can go ahead and change, you know, different game modes. And if you want me to do a tutorial about creating a custom game mode, uh, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I'm gonna end this video here. Like and subscribe, comment uh, what to do. I'm going to do five tutorials if you want to see this channel. Uh, like I said, um, we are so close to reaching 1k subscribers, so if you want to help me out, please subscribe right now. I, I appreciate a lot the support that I'm getting in this last. So, with all said, bye-bye.